Hey guys, Ben from Ben's Game Time back with the final video of tips and tricks on how to get Dark Matter Camo in Black Ops 3. And today we're going to be just talking about all the secondaries. So let's get started. Um, general tips I have are to just either do a separate class and just run them like as their own thing, or you can run them with uh, whatever you're using as your primary. Either or. Uh, when I was working on the pistols and the combat knife, I would uh, do them on their own separate thing. Um, if I was using the launchers, I'd do it with whatever primary I was working on because it's just a launcher, you know. So do whatever setup you want for these. I just personally like to run the pistols and the melee knife on their own. Although if you want, you can use the combat knife with uh, a shotgun class or whatever class you want to use it with. So... Now for the specifics. First, MR6 is a semi-auto pistol. It's, you know, your standard semi-auto pistol and it has the strongest damage because of that. And this is my favorite pistol in the game out of the three and I think it's the best one. Um, it is really useful as a secondary after, you know, you've shot people with your primary and you need to switch. It's a really reliable gun. And it is really, really powerful and hardcore. I would say you could even run this on its own as I have done in the past. Um, just run this on hardcore because it is a one-shot kill to like the chest and above so I'd say go for your headshots on hardcore with this gun it is really really good on hardcore uh, I would say quick draw would be um, the attachment to use you could put a high caliber on uh, and but I would only say do that if you're playing on core hardcore you don't need high caliber for this well yeah it's a really good really accurate pistol so yeah, I'd highly recommend the, to use this pistol on its own or with whatever setup you're using. Um, as for challenges, you know, it's your typical 100 headshots and then your bloodthirsties with everything, without anything, double kills, and then you got your long shots. Uh, with the pistol though, it won't be that tough to get long shots. You don't have to stand building to building. You can actually be uh, a little bit closer than that. So it shouldn't be that bad to get the long shots with this. Next is the RK5. This is your three round burst pistol. Uh, it's also pretty good. Um, it's got like a nice modest damage and it has a good fire rate. Um, this is where I'd say start maybe running high caliber if you want. Uh, quick draw is still really good though. Either or. I personally use quick draw. I don't feel like if I'm playing hardcore, I don't really need high caliber. So yeah, um, I would say. Run this on hardcore without high caliber. It's pretty good, pretty good uh, pistol. Uh, if you're using it on core, maybe put on the high caliber. It's up to you. Uh, but yeah, I'd say quick draw is a pretty good uh, attachment to use. And then, lastly, is the L Car Nine. This is the worst gun in the game, in my opinion. It is awful. It is a fully auto pistol and you unlock this so late at level 49 you know it's just horrible um, I would say you need to put multiple attachments on this thing put on a quick draw and put on a high caliber okay and the worst part is it is so inaccurate uh, in the weapon description it has like a medium-ish accuracy but it's still like really low compared to the other two pistols you cannot just um, no scope it you cannot. The bullets will fly everywhere, and the, and the gun flies everywhere still if you're using, you know, like aim down the sights and all that. So it is just an awful gun. I would say you have to do this in hardcore because the damage is really low on it. So I would say use it in hardcore and just get it over with. I would say quick draw and then also throw on the high caliber, and it's just going to be, it will be a struggle for you. Trust me, it's not that great at all. Next are the launchers. First is the XM-53. Uh, this has two rockets and you can either lock on to a score streak with it or you can free fire it. It's up to you. Uh, challenges for this is just to destroy 100 score streaks. And then you got some other ones such as, uh, you know, shooting down specific things like um, talons or uh, any turrets such as guardians and hardened sentries. Uh, you also have to destroy five score streaks in a single game. That shouldn't be too hard. Just shoot down UAVs over and over again. And then uh, two score streaks rapidly. That's fine. You know, just do uh, multiple UAVs in the air. And then they have a challenge specific to it where you have to direct hit 10 uh, 
players. So just uh, play an objective based game mode and just shoot those uh, when you see them or if they're like standing still or at the objective. So yeah, that might be the hardest part right there is to get the direct impact kills. Um, but yeah, so two rockets, you can free fire it or you can um, shoot them at the score streaks. And I would say just use this with whatever gun you're using, whatever primary you're using at the time, really. Uh, no point really at all to um, run this on its own. And um, my advice to help you with the score streaks is to run engineer. It will help you see where they are in the map. And you just got to get lucky with this. Uh, Black Cell is not really that different when it comes to challenges. Uh, it itself is, it has four rockets, but it is only vehicle lock on, so you can only aim it at score streaks and stuff. So, but you have more rockets, so that's good. Um, and the one difference between this is because you can't shoot people, uh, unless you've managed to find a fancy way to do that by aiming at something and then have a person walk in front, uh, they weren't that mean to you to us but uh, the challenge is to destroy things as soon as they enter the map so once someone calls a UAV use your engineer and find it and then immediately shoot it down you only got like a couple seconds to do it but yeah um, overall I'd say just use engineer run these with whatever primary you're using at the time and you just gotta get lucky there's no real way to manipulate it you just gotta it's just a luck thing you gotta be lucky enough that the enemy is even running the score streaks you need and then you gotta be lucky enough that they actually get them. So just be patient, get lucky, and just grind it out. And then lastly is the combat knife. Uh, this is really good, uh, especially in Black Ops 3. They really made this a lot better since Black Ops 2 because now the melees are a two hit, but with this it's a one hit all the time, so that is great. I would say just run this either on its own or with another gun or something. Uh, do this in core, I would say, because hardcore you're just going to be shot before you can stab them. So I'd say do it in core. And so challenges, you just got to uh, get your kills, pretty simple. And then you got to do your, you know, your double kills and revenges and bloodthirsties. Yes, you got to do bloodthirsties with the knife. Kind of a pain. And then, you know, some you know no perks that's slightly different you can't have any perks on because there's no attachments and then the unique challenge to this uh, is to actually kill someone with the knife pick up their gun and then you have to shoot them with the gun and get a backfire medal and this okay so biggest thing about this is that uh, there was this glitch when I was getting this gold I'm not sure if uh, they patched it, they probably did, but there was this glitch when I was doing it where, and this is back in November, December, where you would have the knife, and if you had any camo or any sort of prestige related thing on top of it, if you had anything attached to the gun, camo, paint jobs, whatever, it wouldn't count for the uh, backfire metal type of thing, so everything else was fine. But uh, yeah, just uh, play it safe. Don't put any camos or any special prestige things or paint jobs on the knife. Just keep a plain knife and just run around, stab people. Uh, overdrive, I would recommend overdrive with the knife because, you know, you just, it would be the best fit for it. Run really fast with it and then just keep stabbing. I would also recommend overdrive if you're using the pistols on their own. But if you're using it with a weapon, uh, then just use whatever you want to use. So, yeah, that's basically everything. Um, at the end of the day, really, it's up to you guys to get this done. Uh, you can just do whatever you want. I just suggest doing the things that I've suggested to you. And it's just up to you. A lot of it is luck-based, you know, just getting into that one lobby that has all the people that are, like, not that great at the game and whatever. So it will be a grind. But uh, I think that uh, if you put your mind into it, then you'll be able to get it. So that's how you get Dark Matter Camo in Black Ops 3. If you enjoyed this video and if you've uh, enjoyed this entire series of videos, please leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next on the channel, and I will see you guys in the future. Goodbye.